Today I will discuss prosomillet emergence. This is Gary Whitgriff, an international millet researcher and author of two books on prosomillet. They are available for free on researchgate.com or you can order them from my website at relatingtoancients.com. Proso or common millet has been grown for food for thousands of years. What should you expect from planting through emergence for this drought tolerant short season crop? Prosum millet may be a planned rotational crop or a substitute crop when other crops fail. That's the case with this South Dakota field. It was planted to spring wheat May 1st. The planter failed, forcing the grower to look to Proso as a late planted alternative crop. Proso was planted here on June 3rd and I'm observing it on June 11th. Prosum millet is a photo period sensitive crop, meaning it prefers long daylight hours. In the northern hemisphere, as a planned crop, seeding should occur before summer solstice. That's before June 20th. It is best to plant proso a half inch deep or a maximum of one centimeter, that's like two and a half inches. But at that depth, the seeder or drill should throw out the, the top loose dry soil in order to get the seed into moisture. A warm, moist, firm seed bed is preferred at Oh, 55 55 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, that's uh, 13 to 18 Celsius. Uh, deeper soil will be cooler, but planting may be necessary at that depth to put seed into moisture. Expect irregular stands when planted deep, especially in heavy trash. Let me give you a few numbers. Proso has about 80,000 seeds per pound, 176,000 per kilogram. It has been traditionally seeded in six to seven inch rows, 15 to 17 and a half centimeters. Usually it is seeded 15 to 25 pounds an acre or seven to 11 kilograms per hectare. It is best to plant the same day as the last tillage trip or in no-till seed bed to minimize the weed emergence because they're gonna emerge about the same time as the millet seed very quickly. Expect the coleoptil to surface within a week as the first green leaves unfold. The mesocotyl is the smooth white part. Uh, it's hairless and it extends upward from the seed. As it nears the soil surface, the coleoptil containing the first leaf turns yellow and is forced open by that first leaf. A process seed coats are fibrous and can be found by following the plant from the surface down. Measuring the mesocotyl will determine the planting depth. As a seedling emerges, the radical or primary root quickly extends below the seed. Fine hairs cover lateral and seminal roots to absorb moisture, nutrients, and interact with soil organisms. The seed's goal is to emerge. Notice how the contiguous seedlings in one row vary in planting depth and fight to get to the surface. Prosum millet is very drought tolerant after emergence. It's fine, very fine roots have broken off and extended deeper, but they are extremely efficient in gathering moisture and nutrients. Notice how number three and seven struggled to emerge. Number four, planted shallow, was just emerging eight days after planting. Plant number eight's coleoptile just hit the sur soil surface. Nine was planted the shallowest. Meanwhile, number 10 was planted the deepest, emerged ahead of the others, and number 10's coleoptile punch through the trash to emerge. More on millet at relatingtoancients.com. Search the internet. Enter Whitgriff Millet.